we can hi good morning hi. happy crown day happy crown day thank you for technical difficulties thank you we understand we're happy you're here um so leah you're the california lobbyist that worked on getting the bill passed um we have just about two minutes i would love to hear from you about what you know what it took and what was your role Man, it, 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 was, it was a heavy lift. I, I think um, we all know that the importance of, of starting in California was huge because we knew that the long-term goal was going to be able to, was, was to be able to get the, the bill passed in other states as well. So we were very intentional about setting a strong foundation to make sure that um, when, the, when, the, when the other states followed, that there was a lot of support already built mm -hmm. So as you can see, the seven states having signed the Crown Act into law since California, the efforts that we made here were able to really help to set, set that stage. And what that means is some of the things that we did um, behind the scenes with our very small but mighty lobbying team, and I just want to give a shout out to my girl, Delilah Clay, for jumping into the ring with me. Um, but some of the things that we did were we um, were very intentional about building a strong coalition. And I, I heard Ajua talking about, you know, the Crown Coalition and how strong that was. But in California, we also included a wide range of well-respected state organizations to shore that up. Um, one of the biggest ones in our coalition building was securing citizens against lawsuit abuse. Um, and we got them to support the bill. Originally, they had an issue with the bill. Um, but after talking to their lobbyists, we were able to craft a strong enough argument to get them to sign on. So that was that was a beautiful moment. And just to kind of add a little more context to this is that um, we also had California Employment Lawyers Association on the bill. And I don't think I've ever seen those two organizations supporting the same bill at the same time. Um, so along with the importance of coalition building, um, we also utilized potential opposition. We had two large and very politically powerful organizations that expressed problems with the bill early on. So we were able just to kind of like leverage those relationships that we had and get them to uh, lay off the bill. Um, on top of all of that, we did um, a lot of work with committee consultants once the bill was going through the committee process. And what that looks like is really just um, talking to consultants and trying to sway them to write a, a favorable bill analysis and recommending I votes to members who sit on the committee. But I would say the single most important thing that, that we do as lobbyists um, in protecting our clients' interests before the state legislature and the governor's office, one of the most important things that we, that we did and, and do are to um, get the vote counts. So when you're um, lobbying a bill, you have to talk to like nearly every member of the legislature to make sure you have their vote. And it was very important to do this in this case because we knew we were going to have to paint a picture and really tell them the story in such a way where non-Black people could understand it, to not even only understand it, but to really be able to feel it. Uh, we had to break it down, break down the history of Black hair in America uh, wow. and how it was used against us as a tool of subjugation, right? We had to really um, wow. talk about the ways we've been forced to assimilate in the way we wear our hair. And what that really does to your psyche, right? Because you're breaking this down to non-Black people who just don't know it because they don't know it. They don't have any reason to know it, right? Um, these, are just, these are just things that people that aren't Black don't think about. So really just telling that story. Um, and having a strong bill author in Senator Mitchell, man, she was just such a force in this. Um, having a strong bill author and taking the time to really educate each member and their staff, that's how we were able to get the bill passed with zero no vote and bipartisan support. So that cannot be missed. Thank you. We, I mean, that that is amazing. And that's just to, to have the zero no vote um, just as a is a testament to the force that you all were yeah. and are um, in activating uh, legislation. So we thank you so much for your leadership. We thank you for all of the work that you've done. We look forward to celebrating Crown Day every single year. And we're looking forward to also the next, uh, four, how many more states do we have? 43, more 42 and very. Two, okay, so we have more states to go. Let's get it done. And thank you so much for your work. You all have a beautiful day. Happy Crown Day. Thank you. Thank you.